Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a basketball arcade game called uh, Punk Shot. This was created by Konami in 1990. And it's very, very similar to uh, Arch Rivals, uh, a basketball game uh, the previous year, um, in that it's very, uh, it's very silly. There's uh, very uh, silly ways that that uh, you can lose your footing or lose the basketball. And uh, we're going to take a look at just about all of those ways. Um, this was suggested by YouTube user Vokso. Not sure how it's pronounced entirely, but um, this, is, this is kind of fun. Uh, the computer gets really good later on in the game. <laughs> yeah, you can punch the opponent like in uh, uh, Arch Rivals and uh, surrender the ball. It's just two-on-two -two basketball. Uh, there's funny, uh, goofy sound effects. You can get knocked on your butt and you have to wail on the buttons to get up. What I do like is that there's only two buttons to have to use for offense and defense. Um... You can play up to four players simultaneously. You know, uh, each each player being a uh, one person on a on a team, and you have two teams competing against each other. Um, but if you just play one player, then you'll play with a, a computer-controlled teammate against two computer-controlled opponents. And there are three different uh, settings. You can play uh, on a downtown court. You can play at the park on a court. You can play on a court at the harbor. This is all set in New York. But uh, there is the harbor right there. And a player can get knocked into the, uh, into the ocean. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, the buttons you have for offense is one is pass and one is dunk or shoot. And if uh, the computer-controlled opponent is near the basket, pressing the dunk or shoot button will make them dunk. Or if you, the player you're controlling, is close to the basket, you will dunk when pressing that button. We'll get started. We're going to go with the... Um, uh, the park court. It's just a dirt court with uh, the baskets. We, yeah, when you get close to the uh, hoop, there might there will be a, a sign or a person that says "dunk it," and you press the uh, shoot button, and you will fly towards the basket and dunk it. Only occasionally will you miss. Note the bomb in the background. If a player touches it when it explodes, they'll be uh, they'll be prone for a little while. There's also a bird that can interfere with the uh, basket. Now, one thing <laughs> there, that guy, that opponent got uh, got hit by the bomb, and then that bird got in the way of my dunk. <laughs> You have a uh, you have a, a timer, and uh, you also have an energy meter, and uh, it goes down whenever the en whenever the opponent scores, and I think it goes back up a little tiny bit when you score. The notice it's it's really low. Yeah, it goes back up a tiny bit when you score. But once it's out, then somebody says game set and you have to put in another credit. And you have to put in another credit whenever you run out of time. We will continue here. There we go. Uh, if one of your players is off screen, it'll there will be a sign that says... Uh, you know, a one-up off-screen or something. Whoa, he missed a dunk. That almost never happens. If you're flying towards the basket, 
then you are almost always going to dunk it. The computer can't, uh, can't usually get in the way to block it. But uh, on offense, you have a, a pass button and a dunk or shoot button. And uh, on defense, you have a punch button and a block button. Now, uh, note that uh, once a basket is scored, somebody has to pick up the damn ball, and it can be either either team. It can be the same team that just scored. They can go and pick up the ball and score again. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Once a quarter is completed, you will go to uh, one of the other settings and play the next quarter. Ah, there's no goaltending. Ah, cool. Scored just in time. And that is the end of the first period. And you will get a little cutscene showing uh, how they screwed up. It's supposed to say Game Boys. And it says Aim Boys. We slammed, jammed, and crammed you guys or something like that. And now we play at the harbor. But on tip-off, you press the, uh, the same button that's pass or punch on defense. And he slipped on a cone, he falls in the, he falls in the water. <laughs> oh. You'll pick up right from there if you continue. Whoa, I thought he was going to for sure score. But there's numerous uh, goofy... Uh, goofy hazards. The computer definitely gets better at this point. No, oh, the bird couldn't get in the way f uh, quick enough. And he slipped on a cone again. There is a crate that can fall on the players. <laughs> you bash the buttons to try to break free. You know, as the uh, as the computer controlled uh, teammate of yours, they will try to attack the uh, the other players when they're on offense. The other team. Ah, dang it! So uh, the computer <laughs> he fell in there. Duh, who left that hole there? might be kind of a reference to uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, also by Konami. Duh, who put the lights out? And uh, my energy meter in the top left ran out again because I didn't score <coughs> enough to keep it from dwindling to zero. Zero. <clears throat> but uh, you have to play four quarters you can let the time run out, of course, when you have to continue. And if you do, uh, whoever, you know, if you led uh, at that point. Oh, nice block. Oops, I didn't mean to uh, shoot from there. If you led at that point when you uh, elect not to continue and let the time run out, um, then they'll show your team celebrating, and if the computer team led at that point, then they'll be celebrating. You want to try to win enough matches or score enough so that uh, your name gets on the high score list. And yeah, when you get thrown, when you get knocked over, you'll have to uh, wail on the buttons to get your butt back up. Um, there's only 18 seconds left and I have to spend to continue. But I'm gonna win this quarter. Even if you lose a quarter, uh, a period, whatever, then you still get to continue on to the next one. Hey, he scored just in time. So I lead 38-22. My team is the Ramblers and the other team is the Slammers. Those are the only and you clowns. <laughs> and now here is the third quarter, and now we go to the uh, 
uh, downtown port. <laughs> funny, funny sound effects. But yeah, now the computer really gets good, and you have to quickly pass repeatedly, or the computer will knock it out of your hands. <laughs> Sometimes you have to shoot even before you can get into dunk range. And uh, you might be able to hit it. There are no threes in this game. And like I said before, there's no goaltending. See, they're starting to chip away big time with the big lead that I used to have. I didn't hit that shot. But uh, various funny dangers. There's like an apple core or a banana peel on the street that you can slip on and be prone for a while. Yeah, they're really chipping away at this lead. No. And there's a fire over there. You can get burned and be prone from that. <laughs> Just numerous funny things for uh, each scene. I guess there is a way uh, I was able to do it with a computer player. Don't score. Damn it. There was a uh, way that the computer did it for me that you can uh, uh, suplex the opponent. <laughs> it doesn't seem to to work very often, and I I'm not entirely sure how you do it. But I just try to go up and punch the opponent that has the ball. You can punch an opponent that doesn't have the ball. And you can do a little combo attack. You can do punches and kicks when you just wail on the attack button. Ah, crap, I was standing on a banana peel, so I slid. There's some annoying animal that lives in a trash can that does this annoying laugh. And it laughs at you when you, like, slip on a banana peel or something, or it might laugh if the, uh, if there was a score. Oh. <laughs> Will I make that shot? Oh, I did. Yeah, he left because I made that basket. What an annoying little turd. I think it's it's like a cat or something. I'm not entirely sure, though. Yeah, the computer can rarely, uh, rarely block you when you're in the uh, dunk mode. And you rarely miss. Oops. Oh, sweet. <laughs> and he laughs again. I do like that the characters say uh, Geronimo when they're <laughs> when they're going for a dunk. It is funny. Oh god damn it! Yeah, I was prone. I couldn't get over there and uh, and get the ball after their score. So they scored again. Well, we're tied after three. Now we go to a different. I mean, one of the other one. Uh, one of the other uh, uh, courts that I already played. I think it was the park. Yeah, we go back to the park. And this time, whoever wins gets uh, gets a little celebration. You, then you put in uh, then you put in your initials, and then you play uh, another court. You start all over. The difficulty is a little easier from that point on, but it's harder than uh, from where you started. And there's a bomb, yeah. And the guy with the scorecard... It's that stupid bird again. The guy with the scorecard skates around. So you can always see the score. I'm a turd. Damn it, give me that frickin' ball. Ugh. Didn't want to. Didn't want to wait until, <clears throat> until I got into dunk range. But that stupid bird was in the way of my shot. Yeah, your team is the Ramblers, and the other team is the Slammers. <laughs> there, there will be a dog that, <laughs> that bites your butt or pull, tries to pull your pants down. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, all the hazards that happen to you can happen to the uh, 
computer opponent or human controlled opponent. I do not remember seeing this in arcades. It's it's kind of fun. If you like if you like uh, arch rivals, you'll you'll definitely like this. But the uh, difficulty really really spikes uh, during the uh, during the second match for the uh, second quarter, and then big time in the third. Uh, don't don't <clears throat> don't hesitate to. Punch the shit out of the opponent. You want to get that basketball. And I, I should have tried to jam uh, earlier or put it in when I was right under the basket. I passed instead. The computer will definitely get steel happy by this point. Geronimo. <laughs> this game is is kind of cool, but yeah, the difficulty just gets way harder, especially in the second half. Oh, are you kidding me? That was a lay-in, and he missed it. And yeah, you better make that one. Boy, the uh, opponents were prone for a long time right there. We're almost out of time here. It's kind of stupid. I have to spin a spin a coin for the last few seconds. Cool. I win. <laughs> Some gal wiggling her butt. Kisses one of the kisses the player I control. Maybe guys are bummed out. <laughs> kind of funny game. I can enjoy it. I, I do like that there's only two buttons to have to control your uh, player's moves with. And then you just keep keep playing from the beginning, like I said before. <clears throat> so the game will end when you just let the, the time run out on your uh, the time when that you have left to put in another credit. Look at me uh, letting the time run out when I was trailing at that point, 16 to 8. So the opponents are celebrating and taunting me. <laughs> and then we'll look at uh, me being in the lead in the same uh, position. Uh, not, <clears throat> not continuing. Yeah, we're laughing and pointing at him. <clears throat> but that is Punk Shot by Konami in 1990. Kind of fun uh, arch rivals type of uh, basketball game. You can play up to four players simultaneously. Well, that was Punk Shot by Konami in 1990. Uh, this was suggested by YouTube user Vokso, if that's how it's pronounced. This is Crazy Climber 80. Same thanks for watching Punk Shot by Konami in 1990. I will catch you later with another game. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.